Okay, you know, uh, man, I don't even know. I don't even know what I'm going to say. Before I dive into this sickening, disgraceful video, don't forget to like, subscribe. You got to be subscribed to this great channel. And don't forget to share. Now you see why. 150,000% times 17 wrong. What in the hell is going on? Do you, so this is a children's, children's birthday party, right? And look at this. I don't want to hear any of the excuses. The fathers aren't around and all of this. I was raised by just my mom, right? I think I turned out pretty well. I'm not teaching my kids this BS and I have nothing against firearms. My kids know about the fire. They know where they're located. They know about safety. They know about they're not toys, just like a butcher's knife wouldn't be, a box cutter, a hammer, an ice pick, whatever the case may be. We're not twiddling around an axe. But look at this. And oh, it looks like all the fathers are in attendance. Look at them. Just standing back there, just chilling, laughing it up. There's music in the background, cursing. No big deal. And look at these young kids flashing the money, flashing the gun. And mind you, I was thinking like, man, is the gun real or is it fake? It doesn't matter. Because right there, you're showing, you see how the little one right next to him is picking it up and playing with it? This is how you get to see all around the country when the young kids either shoot themselves or a sibling. It's because of stuff right here. It Exhibit A, Your Honor, right here on full display, just completely ridiculous, and nothing's being done about it. It's celebrated, an absolute disgrace, but actually, I think the guns are real. If you can see in one little image, when he tilts it up, you can see like that little silver part underneath. Usually, they put a serial number right there, so it looks like a real firearm. Well, who knows? It's probably loaded, one in the chamber, just for something ignorant, stupid, to go completely off. Another young kid right there, completely innocent, just standing there watching this travesty take place. Another one being held by another adult, supposedly, in the back, just watching this just complete disgrace take place. So I don't, look, I'm rhyming right there. Man, listen, okay, hold on, let me get back on track. They're sitting there. These are all grown men. These are the fathers, right? I'm assuming these are the fathers, the uncle, the brother, whoever the hell, some type of male figure. This is why you cannot blame it on the householder who's there. It's always a benefit to have both parents. You always want a mother and a father. Absolutely. You want that balance. Even a grandmother, grandfather would be great. But in this situation, is it making any difference? Like I said to me, I was raised by my mother. I'm not having my kids have firearms. We're not playing with it. What the, what the hell is this? And they're cool with it. And it's a film. They post it. The money flashing. I don't know if you guys ever seen the movie Storks, right? Cute little movie for the kids. When the stork ends up touching the kid when he goes to drop the kid off to the parents, they, they can see the entire life flash before his eyes, right? From when they're a baby till they graduate, so on and work. I would love for the fact if you could just shake one of these kids' hands and see the future that's going to be for them is going to be an absolute dumpster fire. What are the chances of any of them amounting to anything? Look at what, and this is what you're showing on video. What about what they see in the house? If I beat on my wife and tear her up, cuss her out, call her every name in the book and the kids are right there, some of them are going to grow up thinking that's okay. Some kids you know, you can put all the work into them and they can come out and be complete degenerates, you know, but I'm trying to say, I think the odds are more in your favor if you put great values, respect, a great upbringing into your kids, they have a higher probability of being successful or being a great stand-up person. What are the odds of any of these children amounting to anything? Look at the odds. They're playing with a stacked deck and it's not about the cops and the white man and the corporate. Corporate America and the white supremacy, nothing about, that's not, that's the least of their worries. They are playing against a stacked deck with their own family members, with their father, who allowed this 
BS. You know I want to just give you the full BS to take place. And they just sit there and celebrate it. What an absolute, the only disgrace. They should be ashamed of themselves. But this is celebrated. This is cool. What's the big deal? You guys even saw there's a video of kids going and stealing out the back of the Amazon truck. And the people are filming them, laughing at it. The video I just did previously, beating the brakes, mangling the kid to death 15 jumping the young man what this is what this is a society that is coming up now this is just absolutely ridiculous i would love to talk to one of the fathers uncles aunts mothers whoever the hell and tell me how you think this is cool or this is a great idea it's all going down the drain our country going to hell in a handbasket. And this is why a lot of the times kids only know what they're shown. Of course, once they get in high school and get around friends, they may want to show out or do whatever. If you put in good values and all that into your children, majority of the time they should turn out to be great people. But when you give them no shot in hell, they have no shot. They have no shot. That's why I would love to be able to see their future when they're doing stuff like this. And that's all they're going to know. This I, mean, I have to get off this video because I'm going to say something stupid as hell while I'm on here. You guys let me know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm meant to be born in another time because I mentioned that before. Maybe I just, maybe I'm just not hip. Maybe this is the cool thing to do. Is this what we're supposed to be teaching the kids? Let's just give him a butterfly knife, a razor blade, put a 40 in his hand, put a blue bandana, red bandana out his back pocket, let him start sagging, let him cuss out the cops. Man, what the hell? What's the point of going to school for? You know, nine to five, man, you want you to be there on time? Man, bump that. Man, let's go chase these honeys. This is absolutely disgraceful, but this is why the children have no shot and I blame the parents a huge amount you could not have any parents you could be an orphan all that and you could still make it out but when you're playing against this when the dealer automatically has a 21 and you get dealt like a eight or something like that you're automatically in the hole set up to lose and that's what each and every one of the beautiful kids set up to to fail. Let me get the hell off this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Don't forget to like. You got to be subscribed to this great channel and don't forget to share so we can help get it out there. Maybe we can turn something around and some people can wake up. Just wake up. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Thank you guys for tuning in and I will catch you guys on the next one.